PDM print task modifications. Scale drawings to fit. Exclude sheets by name. Open the ePDM admin tool and browse to your vault. Open the vault. Look at the add-ins and check that the SolarWorks task add-in has been installed. If it's not installed, you'll need to get it and install it from your original media. Then go down to the tasks in the tool and click New Task. Say you want to use the task add-in. Script. This is a dummy script or an empty script. So let's replace it with a template. OK, we have to restart. So come out and go back into the task now. Now it's all completed. This is the computer that we're going to run on, which is our own computer here. Menu command, print, that's fine. This says which printer to use, paper size options, margin settings, which files to run on, permissions and notifications. Now look at this SolarWorks drawing. We'll use it to test our print task. It's got a number of sheets, circle, slot, rectangle, line, and spline. Now run the task. Right-click and go to the print option. Run the task and a dialog box appears. Files to print and margin settings can be set. Not useful for a task we want to run on a server. So let's cancel and go back in to the print task setup here. We can say always use a following printer. I'll use a virtual printer here. You can use a specific physical printer for every different paper size. The print dialog box does not need to be shown, so let's uncheck this option. OK. Now remember there were five drawing sheets in our drawing. Running the task, we no longer get the pop-up dialog. This is good. If we go into the admin tool, the print task is waiting. It takes a few seconds. Now it's started. Opened up SolarWorks. And we get a Save As dialog for the first sheet. Then the second sheet, etc. There are five sheets. Great. Task should finish now. There we go. Unfortunately, the drawing outputs are not correctly scaled. The task is run, but not to the right scale. Let's delete those and we'll start again. Right, I'm going to try and fix the scaling problem. Go back into the print task. Now as I look through these different settings, there doesn't seem to be anything that talks about scaling the drawing. Nothing tells me how to get the drawing to scale correctly. Let's go in this window here and look at the advanced scripting options. Looking at this VB script, we need to make a small adjustment here. If you know SolarWorks API or VB script, you'll be able to follow this quite easily. If we explore the script, you see at the top here, we have some case statements that look for different uh, paper sizes. Down here we have a check to make sure the extension of the file is something that we can print. 
But here's the entry point, submain. You'll notice here that there's a, a, a doc config or sheet variable, and above it a doc file name variable. These are things that are passed into us in the script by SolidWorks, who's taking care of everything else, and will call us with a file path and a configuration or sheet setting in these two variables. We're going to be called once for every sheet. So in our case, we'll be called five times. File path will be the same, but the, uh, the sheet name will change between each call. OK. Investigating the script a little bit more deeply. Start off opening the document. Then, if we have to, activating the configuration. More settings down here for paper size, orientation of the paper, margins, etc. All user preferences. They're stored in SW page setup on that line here. A bit further down. This is important. This is where we decide whether or not to print the sheet or not. And finally, we actually do the printout. Let's look at printout 2 in the API. Here it is. Look at the definition. Just quickly scroll down here a bit. And range of pages to print. So this is an array, a page array. OK. So what we mean by the array of sheets to print is really a list of numbers. So if 1, 4, 5 is passed in the array, we'll print the first, fourth, and fifth sheet. 1, 2, 3, the first, second, third, etc. So looking at this bit of code here, what we're going to do is there's a loop just here that's checking to see whether the name of the sheet is the name that we've been passed in. If it isn't, it goes on to the next sheet. But as soon as it finds it, it exits this little for loop and jumps down here. And that is where the print happens, just here. I want to make two changes to this script. Firstly, I want to skip over sheets if they have a certain name. And I'm going to choose the name slot. Remember we had a sheet called slot. We had circle, spline, line. I want to skip over slot. And I also want to scale my drawings so they fit properly. So to go over the, skip over the slot, what I need to do is this piece of logic here, which currently just checks that the, the, um, the sheet's got a valid name, length of greater than zero, and of course it's a, the right type. I'm going to add a little check here to make sure the name of the sheet, docCFG or sheet, is not slot. If it, and only if it is not slot will I do the work. Otherwise, I'm going to come to this else statement here and exit the sub. By exiting the sub, I'm not going to get to the subsequent part where we actually do the printing. As for the scaling, the page setup here, the SW page setup. Let's look at that in the API help. What we find it's got a property down here called scale to fit, which is just true or false. So let's put in here SW page setup scale to fit, that's our property, and just set it to be true. There's our slot skipping, and we've got the scale to fit property set. OK, great. Let's try running this script. Just as before, we'll expect it to start up in the background. And we'll be prompted to save the files. 
when they're generated. But we can just check by looking in the task here, just to see that it's running. It's still waiting for SolarWorks to start up. Here we go. And we have to save the first file. We should only save four files now because we're skipping the slot sheet. Second one, third one, and hopefully our fourth and last one. Great. And the task is finished. See, there are four, four drawings only. And what's more, when I open them up, they're scaled correctly. So I hope this has been useful. What we've seen is a couple of little modifications to the uh, SolarWorks Enterprise PDM task, print task, that you can make yourself quite easily and will make life a little bit easier. Thank you.